scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Um, hallelujah. There are certain times in our lives when God brings messages that can alter our destinies every message is important i believe it is powerful but there are certain times when god just steps in and grants you keys and revelations that will make you so powerful and so blessed i believe that if you take seriously what you are going to hear tonight it will open us to new dimensions of glory in the name of jesus Help us tonight, dear Spirit of God. You are the only helper we have. Grant us grace. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the greatest assets that a Christian can have in his life is not just the ability to pray. It's not just the ability to, to study God's word. It's not even just the ability to love God. But one of the greatest assets that a believer can have is the ability to interpret spiritual things. Hallelujah. The ability to relate the things that happen in the earth realm from the perspective of the heavens. The Bible says the sons of Issachar had an understanding of the times. Praise God. When in the days of Belshazzar the Bible says that there was a handwriting that came from the realm of the spirit and wrote on the wall Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufesen. and no man including the soothsayers and the magicians could interpret it hallelujah one of the greatest assets that we need in these days as believers is to contend for that place in the spirit where we are able to interpret the handwritings that are on the wall so that we can understand the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. We can understand the pathways in the spirit. And this is what we seek to enforce in this place. All the principles that we teach in this place, all of the times of prayer and impartation is to open us to that point in the spirit where we are able to relate with spiritual things. For the Bible says, the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit. Why? Because it takes a level of discernment in the spirit to interpret it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I was excited when the Lord asked me to share what I'm about to share tonight. Because I believe that someone's life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Tonight... I'm teaching on a subject I titled Activating Breakthroughs. Activating Breakthroughs. And then you put a colon. The Ministry of Destiny help us. Activating Breakthroughs. Colon. The Ministry of Destiny help us. The beauty of Christianity, please listen, look up. The beauty of Christianity 
is that every time we relate to God, either in worship, in fastings, in prayer, there is always a response from heaven. Hallelujah. A response from heaven to this earth realm. Hallelujah. And so God responds to us by releasing miracles, by releasing signs, wonders, by granting us the ability to partake of his success. Hallelujah. Christianity is very, will be very unfair on the part of God if the believers do not have an opportunity to participate in the love and the honor and the glory that God carries. I love the song that the worship team just rendered. That not only does God want to use us, but he wants us to have the opportunity to partake of everything that he has. It establishes our oneness and his desire to bless us. Hallelujah. And so the subject of breakthrough has been something on my mind. I've seen churches and ministries passionate about God, passionate about the things of God. I've seen ministries that fast, that pray, call upon the name of God. They walk in holiness and righteousness. But not many of their congregations ever truly experience breakthroughs. Hallelujah. The sick people come, they go back sick. The oppressed people come, they go back oppressed. The only notable thing that happens in that environment is that there are souls being saved. And while that is wonderful and great, what about families that are in bondages? What about destinies that have been tied down? What about people who need to step into the blessings of God? Hallelujah. And eventually, the congregations begin to ask questions and say, is, is God not interested in our personal well-being? Is he just interested in using us for his glory? Is he just interested in watching us pray and fast, you know, interceding for souls? and so on and so forth is he just interested in seeing us serve him what do we have what package has he designed is he insensitive to our needs is he unaware of the challenges that our families have hallelujah is he aware that there are doors that have been closed over families and destinies if yes is he interested in doing anything about it hallelujah and it's important that as we minister to god's people we open them up to everything that can be obtained in god by god's grace we teach you prayer we teach you how to walk in the world we teach you how to live in obedience to god but we must also expose you to the dimensions of god that can release breakthroughs in your life hallelujah that's why we take testimonies every week as a symbol of what God is doing in the lives of his people. Because you see, when you receive personal results in your life, you are motivated to follow God. That may not be your primary reason, but it can motivate you. Is that true? When, when you receive phone calls like the gentleman who just shared, where's the gentleman that shared about his mom? You can imagine. Now he comes for the meeting and then while he's sitting under the atmosphere of god's presence his mom gets healed somewhere hallelujah do you believe this guy has been motivated to press more into god believers are motivated if you see he said when john the baptist sent that they should ask jesus christ if he was the messiah he didn't answer the disciples he just turned and began to heal the sick began to do miraculous things and then when he was done he told John, he told the disciples, say, go and tell John what you have seen. In other words, the kingdom of God should find visible expression. The kingdom of God represents the entirety of God's sovereignty, his power. If God is as powerful as we preach, if God is as great, if he's as loving and caring as we teach, then don't you think that at a point in your life, your life should experience some testimonies? That can encourage you that you can have a message for yourself and say i have seen the hand of god in my life 
I have seen the intervention of God. I've seen breakthroughs in my families. And I told God something. I said, Lord, I never want to be part of a ministry that does not have results. Hallelujah. I don't want to just come and deceive God's people. And it's not enough just to fall down and stand up. If you're falling down, it's not producing results. You will get angry one day. Hallelujah. But thank God we have a God that is alive and is doing wonders in our midst. Hallelujah. And so I'm sharing on activating breakthroughs. In my personal life and in my journey in the spirit, there are four things that characterize seasons of breakthrough in a man's life. Please take this teaching very seriously. Four things. Every time a man is about to step into prophetic defining moments moments of breakthrough i'm not just talking of one testimony here realms of breakthrough where god is about to step into a life and truly do something notable there are four things that happen when you approach that season of your life i'm teaching you this so that you can know and relate with these seasons when they come hallelujah again one of the things i learned watching the film lord of the rings is the fact that they were warriors from different kingdoms and what made these people warriors was not just their ability to fight but the ability to understand seasons hallelujah when other men just stumbled into seasons those men could look and discern I remember one of them looking and seeing a red cloud and he said blood had been shed in the night the ability to look when other people are just looking you are standing from a plane in the spirit and you are saying this has happened because something is happening the wise men hallelujah the wise men saw a star and while other people were saying ah, ah why is the earth shining like this they understood that this is a message in the realm of the spirit that they ought to respond to hallelujah so while the star was supposed to lead men to where jesus was some other people just looked and they were moving around and they were happy yet others were taking advantage of the seasons so i don't just want you to interpret the happenings around life from an earth realm hallelujah I want you to be able to see prophetic things that when you see handwritings on the wall you don't just pass it many people have missed out on seasons of breakthrough because they have not been taught to discern moments of breakthrough in their life many families would have risen from where they are, from where they are into the prophetic destiny that god has for them but because they do not know how to understand spiritual things so follow me tonight four things number one when a major season of breakthrough is about to open up in your life the first thing that happens is that there is an unusual impartation of the spirit of prayer an unusual impartation of the spirit of prayer whenever you begin to sense an irresistible urge to pray an irresistible urge to pray not just to pray with in a group know that these are prophetic signposts these are languages in the spirit that are pointing to you that you are about to step into a major season of breakthrough and i will explain to you why these things happen spirit of prayer how many of you have sat down and suddenly you cannot tell it's not like you are not prayerful but maybe over a period of three or four days or one week you cannot rest you are praying every time you are partnering with what is happening in the realm of the spirit you may not even know but because you have yielded yourself to the holy spirit the holy spirit must not always speak to you his ultimate um desire is to lead you not just to speak to you that your body comes to a point where even without speaking to you you can permit him to carry out what the bible says the holy ghost drove jesus to the wilderness he didn't say jesus let's go jesus's body was so yielded to the holy ghost 
that he just found himself moving at the impulse of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says the wind bloweth where it listeth. You cannot tell where it's coming or where it's going. Such is one who is led of the Spirit. So every time you are about to step into prophetic seasons of breakthrough, you know what a breakthrough is? A breakthrough is when the barrier that is limiting you from stepping into the next level of your life is about to be lifted or is lifted. That's a breakthrough. When there is a stronghold, when there is a mountain, when there is a limitation, when there is a resistance that would not allow you to push through to that next level of life in destiny. By whatever spiritual agency, when that barrier is lifted, we call it a breakthrough. So number one, what? The spirit of prayer. Suddenly you see someone who may not even pray for an hour, but you find out that there is grace to pray. Grace to pray. While you're praying, it's like there's an endless supply. While you're praying, you can sense in the spirit that things are happening. You cannot tell what it is that is happening. But you know that the more you press, your prayer is doing something and is having an effect in your spirit directly. Sometimes you begin to pray and you get to a point in your spirit where you can even start laughing. I'm not talking of laughing in the spirit. Joy that you cannot explain. Because a cord is being hit in the spirit. But many people, when they get to that point, because they do not know the significance of that dimension of prayer, they do not partner with the angels to bring in complete breakthroughs. And they go back and miss out on cycles and seasons of breakthrough that would have come. Are you getting blessed? Number two, when you are about to enter a prophetic season of breakthrough in your life, the second thing that happens is an unusual grace to give. An unusual grace to give. An unusual grace. When you are about to step into those prophetic seasons, suddenly you lose value of everything around you. You just know that I can give anything and it won't matter again. When that begins to happen to you, take note. Have you gotten to a point where you sit down and just look at your clothes and you can carry about 20 or 30 percent of them and just say, I'm going to sew it? And I tell you, there is a dissociation between you and those things, is because you are about to step into a new level. You see how many of you have missed out on such seasons because you did not know how to take advantage. If you could take advantage of it, you would have stepped into major seasons of breakthroughs. This that I'm teaching you is born out of the word of God and practical experiences. Hallelujah. There are many of you who can just be walking and the next thing God tells you, go for a retreat quick. You are supposed to travel. God just summons you and says, go for a retreat. The moment that happens, make sure nothing is too important to make you cancel that appointment. Hallelujah. Because that's not just your normal prayer for spiritual growth. It is a call to contend with the things in the heavens so that you will step into a prophetic season in your life. So number one, the spirit of prayer. An unusual urge to pray, to travel in the spirit. You just find yourself blessing the Lord. Kabo shata kata baladaba. Manda kratosa talabakaya. You are sleeping in the night and God wakes you. That sleep cannot come back again. And you are just praying in the spirit. That's a sign that a door is about to open for you in the spirit. But many of you wake up and when you see your colleague sleeping, just say, Kai, let me just 15 minutes exactly. By the grace of God, I won't add 15 minutes. You even put one leg down on your bed so that you can wake up. And you wake up and see that it's 6 o'clock. And you see, the Holy Spirit does not struggle with the human spirit. Are you listening to me? Because it's not a demon. The moment he begins to communicate to you, it's a language in the spirit. He's telling you, watch this. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Can you stand? So that you will step into this major season. Hallelujah. Number two, an unusual urge to give. Not just, I'm not just talking of giving money alone, 
but suddenly you get to the point where nothing that you have is like a string that connects the things that you have and you is suddenly broken away from your life and you know at that point if God asks you to empty your bank account or if God asks you to give it anything you can lose it including your family members it's not like you don't love them I'm just giving you languages in the spirit you know that there's nothing nothing and you find out that you know that by the kind of songs you sing in your place of prayer you begin to sing songs of surrender and commitment you don't even know why you are singing those songs have they ever raised a song for you and you know this is not the song that communicates what God is saying it's not bad but mm -mm, this is not the song hallelujah when you step in church and they just sing a song we can sing a powerful song like um more of you more of you it's nice but it doesn't strike a chord in your spirit and even you you think you are backsliding no no you just sit down you are not you are not connecting you are even feeling guilty about it you are wondering why you are not connecting hallelujah then suddenly they raise another song i lay it all down again and you start crying you don't even know what is happening it's a reaction to a season that your spirit is relating with the moment they begin to sing that so anything that has to do with laying it down forgetting about it you know your spirit picks it up and that's the song you're just singing may not make sense to you but you are getting into defining moments that will open up prophetic seasons of breakthrough are you getting blessed tonight number three when you are about to step into major seasons of breakthrough i mean major seasons number three there will be an unusual confrontation from the kingdom of darkness suddenly you notice that is as if all hell is breaking loose over you as if the satan i mean the devil just told all the demons say look just leave everybody chase wumi find wumi anywhere you see her look for her hallelujah have you seen people like that so it looks like the more they are praying for you the issue is getting worse hold on that's the time to begin to see from the realm of the spirit because many people are taught to judge these things do you know why you see satan does not know your future but the moment a prophetic word is uttered what happens there is an unusual manifestation of angelic activities suddenly it sends a signal in the realm of the spirit what because they know that satan knows he was an angel before i hope you know so he knows that every time there is an unusual dispatch of angels something is about to be translated from the realm of the spirit into this realm hallelujah and suddenly confrontations from the power of darkness they begin to bring arrows of discouragement impatience procrastination offense suddenly you find out that a major season is about to enter your family and your father and mother are quarreling for trivial issues why did you bring the tea in this green cup is this the cup i use every day and you are wondering you are like daddy what is this whole thing if you learn to judge from the spirit you see why you start by unusual ability to pray because there will be contentions are you getting blessed tonight suddenly you are just getting offended with people for reasons they cannot tell someone looks at you and say beautiful hair you say hey, mock me ah, even you you are finding what is wrong people say you are being so edgy you are being offensive what is wrong say even me i don't know what is happening but god is telling you go and pray because you are stepping into prophetic moments are you listening to me the powers of darkness are finding access points that they can step into your life and on legal grounds hinder what god wants to do are you seeing why praise is a tool for victory you see why God will give you? Are you seeing that? This is why sometimes when breakthroughs are about to come, God will distract you with praise. So that before you realize the breakthrough can come. So you lock yourself and you are just dancing in it. You don't even know why you are dancing. 
because with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation. Many people have lost it at this point. Suddenly you find out that everybody is just offending you. You are about to go and pray. You are sensing in your spirit. And somebody comes and says, let me tell you something. Selina, um, I wouldn't have told you, but let me tell you. Do you know what your sister said? And you are like, what again? These are dangerous seeds that, that will stop you from entering prophetic moments of your life. Hallelujah. Or you are about to go and pray and then a call comes. And your mother says, do you know what happened? There was an accident. Ah -ah. In your dreams, you are seeing your family members rejoicing. You haven't seen them cutting cake. In the physical, you are hearing that one car has. At such times, many people just dampen their spirit. The Bible says, for as long as the hands of Moses kept it, it was up. What happened? There was victory. When Aaron and her were tired and they began to bring the hand, what happened? How can a man's hand control the victory that is happening in a war front? Many people do not understand spiritual pathways. And I'm telling you, the more you have this knowledge, the more you will reign in life. Unusual confrontations. In fact, for some of you, they may even be direct confrontations. You're just walking and for the first time you hear a voice saying you will die. You will die. And you carry that mindset. It's a seed that the devil wants to sow into your life. That's the day you got up and found out that your shirts that they eye on your roommate wore and say, hey, God, let me kill somebody today. Where is she? Prophetic moments. Notice that the moment that season is aborted, all those disturbances just minimize and you can live your normal life. Are you, are you listening to me? Prophetic seasons. And then number four. Number four is suddenly you will begin to attract certain people called destiny helpers destiny help us there will be prophetic unusual encounters please let me have two people my god open our eyes tonight teach us mysteries in the spirit come you stand up here kenny sam just stay down hallelujah watch this this is a level look up everybody this is a level is that correct this gentleman wants to step into this level and he has been walking now he has gotten to this prophetic shift hallelujah while he's praying and fasting this is what happens can i have a third person anybody thank you pastor Femi. suddenly god you just be walking sam yes just be coming and God comes and causes you to intercept at the exact time with certain people he calls destiny helpers. Their job, hold his hands, is to help you and guide you to step up and they will leave. Sam, you climb, climb up, Femi, go back. That's their job. Sometimes they will come into your life just once and you may never see them again. Follow me tonight. God bless you, sirs. Four things happen to believers. This is the structure of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. When Jesus was going to go and bring a major breakthrough to a man who was possessed of devils and to go and preach in Gadara, what happened? They were in the boat, in, the, in, the, in their boat. Is that correct? Suddenly, the sea started getting boisterous. Question. Was that the first time they were going by sea? I hope you realize that the sea was not just doisterous. It was the demons, the legions of devils that were in the man at Gadara that were reacting, attempting to stop them from coming. Hallelujah. 
Notice, did you notice that the disciples started getting angry at Jesus Christ? They got offended. They said, Master, carest thou not that we perish? When Jesus woke up, he knew that he needed to calm them down and he said, Shalom. What happened? The Bible tells us that that madman used to stay in caves. Who told him Jesus was coming? Because the moment Jesus stepped into Gadara, he was there waiting. He was the first person he met. Hallelujah. Did you hear the lady that came to share the testimony about her father? That if, how can a man be having accidents every month? When I don't watch so much of football, but when you are in a serious match, I don't mean friendlies just to shake yourself and change jerseys. Real match that can change the destiny of a nation. Hallelujah. When you are about to score, what happens? The people, they tell them, do everything. Quack him, kill him, just do everything. Stop this guy from score. You find out that the hostility increases. Because at that point, a single goal can make the difference. Are you understanding this? Many people and many families have missed out on cycles. It's like a spiritual cycle. When you miss it, it will come back. But it won't come back immediately. So your job is to stand and discern. When you see that cloud moving, you begin to walk with the Holy Ghost to make preparations for the things that God wants to release. Hallelujah. I'll not talk about the first three. I'll talk very briefly about the last one. Destiny helpers. Who are these men? Who are these strange beings? that seem to come to, to, to stand by people in the path of destiny. Please write. Destiny helpers are men and women that we find on our road to breakthroughs. Our road to destiny. Who provide help for the next level of our lives, our miracles, and our destiny. There are men that we meet on our path to destiny. I'm going to be showing you from God's word. And you'll see how consistent this is. Say in the name of Jesus. I activate breakthroughs in my life. The Bible says. In the book of Genesis 41. If you turn there the story of Joseph. Look up please. Joseph had a great destiny. Is that correct? He had a dream and he told his brothers. He said, brothers, I saw you people bowing to me. The brothers said, you will see, we'll kill you before that will happen. And they sold him. Is that correct? Do you realize, let me show you all the people that played a role in that journey. The Bible says it was at the time he entered the well that certain Egyptians were passing. Why did they not pass before? or after forget the fact that they bought him but they were the vehicles that transported him he didn't pay transport fare they transported him into where Potiphar's house do you know that Egypt was his geographical location of breakthrough are you listening to me so how was he going to go there his father would never allow him to go to Egypt I hope you know and so certain Egyptians in the name of buying him while they were carrying him he did not know that prophetically there were angels and activities that were pushing him to the place of destiny hold on when he gets to Egypt the Bible says that he went into the prison now watch this every time you are about to take a journey into destiny before you start, God will show you something that you will hold in that journey. For Moses, it is a rod. For Joseph, it is a dream. God will say, note it. One day, we'll make reference with. You will never start your journey without knowing what he gave you. Many of us have thrown it. That jar is it, it, no good because it does not look. For Moses, he said, you hold this rod. A day will come. When he got to that point in the Red Sea, he said, remember the rod. Now Moses, stretch that rod. A time has come for the ministry of that rod to come in. 
Hallelujah. For Joseph, he had nothing but a simple dream. A simple dream. Are you following me tonight? He had a simple dream. And while these guys were taking, did he like it? But he was going to the geography of his breakthrough. When he got there, what happened? And this is the sign. Because while he was going, the Bible says God was with him. This is how you know God is with you. Because even in the midst of these things, you see favor. The favor and the grace of God. And the Bible says he went into prison. What happened? He was faithful. And Potiphar made him the head of everything except his wife. Watch this. Then comes this dangerous woman who sees this handsome Egyptian. Hallelujah. And on account of his work with God and his loyalty to his master, what happened? The Bible says he ran and he left his clothes there. Do you know if Joseph had slept with her, he would have just been happy and gone back to the prison in the evening and he would have remained there. Who knows that he slept with her? But he would have remained in the prison there. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Joseph was in the prison and God made it in such a way that it was when Joseph was coming to the prison that the wine presser and the baker for some reasons they annoyed the king the king said go and lock them the king let's explain they go and lock them and while they locked them there then joseph steps in watch this he looks at them and joseph is worried about their state they woke up in the morning and the bible says their countenance was very bad hallelujah and the wine presser said i have a dream why did God create a need that only the gift in Joseph could solve? Are you following me now? God knew that he had given Joseph grace for dreams. Then he created that need. And the one presser got up. Please listen. He said, I had a dream. I saw this and that and that. And this and that happened. And Joseph told him, he said, wow. In three days... The king is going to call you back and you'll be reinstated to your position. The guy laughed. He said, please, when you go, don't forget me. The other guy said, ah, me too, I have my own. No. He said, what is wrong? He said, there were three baskets on my head and vultures came and ate everything. Joseph said, well, in three days, they'll finally finish up your case. They'll bring you out and they'll go and hang you and the birds of the air will eat up your flesh. Watch this. Joseph did not know that those two people, they did not have gift, but they had access to the king that could bring Joseph. Are you seeing? Destiny helpers may not be gifted people, but they have access. You have the gift, but you don't have access to the king. They have access to the king, but they may not have the gifts. Hallelujah. It came to pass like that. And after the wine presser was reinstated, the Bible says he forgot Joseph. But watch this. When it was time for Joseph to step into the place of destiny, what happened? God now, since the wine, the wine presser forgot him, I'm sure Joseph would have been disappointed. You now see that? He would have been angry and said, oh, two years. This guy kept me in this captivity and I helped him. But something happened. The Bible says that... God gave the king a dream. You see it now? When God is ready to lift you, those who matter, he will give them a problem they cannot solve and shut every door until your gift answers to it. That's how God lifts a man. Please listen, I'm teaching you a powerful mystery. Because every king, they had sorcerers and soothsayers. This is Egypt we are talking about. Egypt had thousands of gods they could consult. But that day God shut the heavens. The magicians did everything. The heavens would not open. And the king said, you better answer my dream. You better find the solution. Kings were cruel people those days. They could wipe out a whole land because they were angry. Suddenly, the magicians consulted and said, what is happening? They said, we don't know. And then the wine presser said something. Watch this. 41. Verse 9. Kapo Jatabaratoshi. 
41 verse 9. Are you there? Then spoke the chief butler unto Pharaoh saying, I do remember my faults this day. So after two years, the man remembered. Pharaoh was angry with his servants and put me in prison. In the captain of the guard's house, both me and the chief baker. Listen. And we dreamed a dream in one night, I and he. We dream each man according to the interpretation of his dreams. Listen. And there was there with us a young man, an Hebrew, servant to the captain of the guard. And we told him, now hold on. Do you know, while all of this was happening, Joseph did not know that he was at the edge. Are you listening to me? If he had missed a defining moment, he would have remained in that prison. Sometimes, could it be that you are just a night away to a major breakthrough in your life? Have you heard that song? I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see it. Powerful song. Many believers have gotten to the edge and then Satan comes in with something that aborts the whole journey. Thirteen, and it came to pass as he interpreted to us so it was now listen if Joseph had his way listen if Joseph had his way and he ever met Pharaoh once do you know Pharaoh will be so impressed with Joseph that you say why are you in the prison in the first place but sometimes do you see the irony of life you can see a gifted person who graduated and he's so good and here is somebody who is a blessed man who needs that gift but the, that contact are you listening to me there are many of our loved ones that are gifted i heard the story of a gentleman who fan caught his some of his fingers and then suddenly it was like an anointing came upon him and that guy could draw you know um, fine art students he could do what they call it um, abstract on the wall praise God and then this guy had been praying to God and said Lord give my family a major breakthrough because his mother told him I didn't go to school your hands are cut but do something go and learn something and this guy was praying watch this when that was happening the Holy Ghost began to give him ideas he said begin to do your abstract on plenty papers and store them every time you see this guy drawing people were saying your colleagues are going out to look for a job. He said, but God told me this. Watch this. Suddenly, one day, he went to visit his friend. Huh? When he went to visit his friend, his friend was talking with someone. And it so happened that they just opened the branch. This is a true story. They opened the branch of a bank. You know banks do abstract on their wall. And they had been looking for someone. The person who used to do it for the bank, he did something nasty and the bank got angry with him. And suddenly they just said, ah, but don't you draw. The guy came there with his file. He was ready. They said, meet at so, so, so place. And he went, do you know that that day he got a contract of over 4 million naira overnight. Why? Hold on. It wasn't just because the people that connected him did not even know the gravity of what they were doing. Do you realize that your destiny helpers do not know their destiny helpers? God conceals it so that they will not corrupt what he's trying to do through them. The destiny helpers themselves never know their destiny helpers until the miracle happens one day when you are saying it. The wine presser. If the wine presser knew that he was sitting close to someone who would be the prime minister of, of Egypt, you think he would treat him the way he treated him? Hallelujah. And then let me rush. They called Joseph. I like, I like, I like the way. Let's look at um, verse 14. 14. Are you there? 41, verse 14. And Pharaoh sent, listen. Pharaoh sent at the recommendation of who? A destiny helper, the wine presser. The wine presser said, I testify that there was a time I needed help. Hallelujah. And a Hebrew guy called Joseph. By this time, do you know what it means to stay two years in the prison without shaving? 
without you don't have the luxury of shaving and this you were looking like a, a native doctor and the bible says i'll show you from scripture verse 14 and pharaoh sent and called joseph and they brought him hastily out of where the dungeon it's only your destiny partners that can connect you to come out of some dungeons. You may be gifted, but you will remain in some dungeons until some destiny partners come. Do you know that many of our family members, they are praying in tongues and they are gifted. Let me announce to everybody here, there is something you have that is in desperate demand. The distance between you and your place of honor is a destiny helper. If you never find these destiny helpers, you can die a failure in life. I've seen this happen so many times. Hallelujah. When we were about to get the venue for this place, when God began to speak to us about Koinonia, we were praying. You know how difficult it is to get venue. Hallelujah. We were even looking for a place to pay for. And I began to pray. I began to pray. And I had a number of options. And when I was praying, the Lord showed me, he said, you will use CGC. I really didn't know. I had ministered only once or twice in the ministry. I said, Lord, how can you use people's auditorium? And then you start. And God said, you hold on. But he had taught me the ministry of destiny helpers. So I knew better. Are you following me now? And I knew which tool to engage. Not random, foolish prayer pointless arrow you have ak-47 you're just shooting everywhere you need to direct with target that's what many believers are doing we just pray but we do not know the bible says through wise counsel make war you can you can minimize wasting bullets many people just pray everywhere as they break to wherever you are let it meet you calm down you can walk with wisdom and walk circumspectly i began to pray because i knew that all I needed was a destiny. Do you know it does not take more than 24 hours for God to change a man's story. God just needs to bring a man. Your father has been praying. He's a good architect. And there are people begging. Begging. They want to build estates. They are begging. Can there be something that will happen in the realm of the spirit? See. There's no time I would have given you stories of how people's lives have changed overnight. I hope you believe what I'm teaching tonight. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Joseph the Bible says and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came to Pharaoh and Pharaoh said unto Joseph I have dreamed a dream and there is none that can interpret it and I have heard say of thee that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it and Joseph answered Pharaoh and said it is not in me God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace hallelujah and then he interprets the dream. Verse 32. It's amazing when your gift begins to speak in the place where it is honored. Do you know something? Listen. Your gift will never speak in a place they don't value and honor it. Hallelujah. That's why you can see someone who is a worshiper. He goes somewhere to minister. It's not the place of his honor. They don't even honor it. But he can step into another place. Your gift will always create an effect where it was designed to be honored always hallelujah 32 and for that the dream was doubled unto pharaoh twice it is because the thing is established by god and god will shortly bring it to pass look at the ease at which joseph was interpreting this dream and the magicians were all watching god orchestrated an event where all the all the senate members of egypt were gathered and they were listening see listen whenever god begins to prepare a table before you learn to discern from the spirit because he will be taking you to a place you never dreamt of he'll lead me and guide me to the city up above he'll lead me and 
guide me to my place of destiny. I know he leads me and he guides me to the city up above. Lord, you lead me and guide me to my place of destiny. Hallelujah. 33. Now, therefore, let Pharaoh seek out a man. He didn't know he was talking about himself. Desperate and wise and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in seven plenteous years and let them gather all the food of those good years that come and lay up grain under the hand of Pharaoh and let him keep food for the cities. Just jump verse 39. This is where a man's breakthrough comes. After 12 years of misery, being transported into his destiny by people he did not like, facing situations he did not know were orchestrating themselves for his lift in 39. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has shown ye all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Immediately, without prayer, without fasting, help me read verse 41 to read. And thou shalt be over my house. No interview. No meeting with any council member. Kings did not make stupid decisions. They met with their wise men. But the king announced. He vetoed it. Thou shalt be over my house. And according unto thy word. Shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than you. 41. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. Five minutes ago, a prisoner. Five minutes later, the prime minister. My God, how can you explain this? The people who shaved him said so we were shaving the prime minister. The people who dressed him. And imagine Pharaoh who took him to the prison. I mean Potiphar. Now he had become Lord. Imagine what Potiphar's house wife would do hear me friends god is in the business of changing the lives and the stories of men and of families it does not cost him so much all you need is the man that requires what god has given you he leads me and guides me to the place of destiny he leads me and guides me to the city up above. Your mother has a large poultry farm. There is a major hotel that is being constructed. One manifestation of destiny helpers at a recommendation. They can begin to say, Madam, begin to supply this hotel for as long as the hotel lives. See, friends, every man I know who has been blessed in any area of life got to a point in his life where he was led by destiny helpers to enter fearful mind blowing and irrecoverable parts of destiny let's look at Jesus we call him the king of kings we call him the lord of lords but let's see all the people that play different parts in the life of Jesus did you know the Bible says, I don't know if I should read it. All right, let's read it. Luke 2. Let's hurry up. Because we are going to do some prayer this night. Hallelujah. Prayer this night. I shared it with the leaders on Sunday. God began to speak to me that a breakthrough anointing is coming upon the house in a very, very, very significant way. And we prayed in that light. Luke 2. Verse 25. Luke 2 verse 25. This is the story of Jesus. Are you there? And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was a righteous and devoted man, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord Jesus. Hold on. Look up guy called Simeon. Hallelujah. The Bible says God told him he would not see death. His job was to wait 
until he prophesies into the life of Jesus before he would die. Are you seeing? We don't hear the names of all these people in scripture. But tonight I want to show you people who took the destiny of Jesus and passed the button for him to become our savior. Hallelujah. And then he prayed and prophesied. Let's look at verse 36. So one destiny helper we see in the life of Jesus. Simeon. Number 2. 36 now. And there was one Anna. Listen to how the Bible describes her. What does he call her? One Anna. Hold on. He said one Anna. And one Anna. There was one Anna. Hold on. But without that one Anna, there will be no Jesus. There will be no redemption of mankind. There was one Anna, a prophetess. The daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. He said, and she was of a great age and had lived with, with a husband seven years from her virginity. Seven years and the man died. So what was she doing with the remaining part of her life? Let's read on. And she was a widow about four score and four, 84 years. So for all that remaining time, 84 years, the Bible says, who departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayer night and day. And she coming in that instant, gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for the redemption of Israel. She was the woman who was praying that Jesus be born. Are you seeing that? There was a woman behind the scene, a destiny helper, praying and fasting at age 84 that Jesus will, that that what has been prophesied let me tell you if there were no people to pray they would have killed Jesus because the people would not be sensitive to angelic activities they would have killed him and there would not be redemption for mankind destiny help us we don't honor them the Bible never talks about Simeon again the Bible never talks about Anna again are you following me please destiny help us at the death of Jesus the Bible says listen that when Jesus had carried the cross, he had bled so much and the Bible says the life of the flesh is in the blood. He carried the cross to the point that this was him and the place that would bring redemption for mankind. But there was no more strength and what happened? He fell. At the point where he was falling, one black man meandered that road called Simon of Cyrene. Are you following me now? And they said, Simon, come. They didn't ask him whether he had eaten or not. They didn't ask him where he was going. They just said, Mr. Man, pick up this cross. What happened? A destiny helper. He carried the cross. Cruel men. No devil can resist your destiny helpers. If you, These were men who would not allow Jesus to drink water. But they allowed a man to carry his cross for him. And Simon helped Jesus. And so Jesus could regain some strength. The Bible says that when Jesus died, there was another strange rich man called Joseph of Arimathea. He had a virgin tomb because the prophets had, been, had prophesied that none of his bones would be broken and that he would be buried in a tomb that is virgin. So God had led one man to buy a grave. How can a man buy a tomb and keep it for his own death? He didn't even know why he bought it. Remember when Jesus wanted to come in the triumphant entry. The Bible says a man had tied a coat. He didn't tell us the man. He said go and tell the man the master had need. At once he released the coat. Are you seeing all the people that played parts? When you watch your Jesus of Nazareth. They silence those people. And so you don't even know. You just see Jesus. But without these people in his life. The Bible talked about the wise men once. Didn't tell us anything about them again. It talked about the shepherds. Didn't tell us anything about them again. Now Joseph of Arimathea. The Bible says Joseph of Arimathea was an influential man. It was on account of his influence. So a rich man was required for the redemption of men. It was the rich man that used his influence and went and said, give me the body of this man, let me bury. If not, they would have left Jesus to hang on the cross there. Are you listening to me? Now we don't follow up these stories very well. And they took him to a virgin tomb and they laid him there. Look at all the people that played roles 
in the life of Jesus Christ. Moses, another man. The Bible says when they were killing Hebrew children, you remember? His mother put him in a basket. The word Moses means to come out of a basket. The mother put him in a basket. And do you know that she put a Hebrew material in the basket and pushed him? How can a mother? That was a sign of desperation. She said, let me just push him. Oh God, guide him. Suddenly, the water started leading Moses to a place. For no reason, Pharaoh's daughter just said, I'm not taking my bath. Don't they have bathrooms? I will go to the stream, this stream. At the exact point where the baby was coming, that was when she was bathing. And the Bible says she heard the sound of a child. She would have said, go and kill him. When she saw it, she started laughing. Her father gives an instruction to kill people. The daughter is saving the major person who they were supposed to kill. Destiny help us. Look at the drama that happens in the spirit. Your father gives an instruction. It was really Moses they were looking for. But now, Moses was in the house and they were killing other people. That was the deliverer. The mother, a Hebrew woman, she didn't have much. But do you know what happened? When they pushed Moses, the daughter got and then the maid of the mother came and suggested, say, do you want a nanny? They said, of course. He went and brought Moses' mother to come and be a nanny for her own son and they paid her for it. Destiny help us. I want you to see that this is no coincidence at all. No threat. Moses grew up. He ate well. He was nourished. No join this. No nonsense because there was an assignment waiting for him. He was in perfect shape. Hallelujah. Have you been taking note of certain people? Many of us have been cheated. Because we have neglected these strange sets of people. We live in a generation where all we are looking for is men of God. Could it be that after the prophecy from the men of God, there are ordinary people? Some of you come for koinonia and you sit down close to the person who can suggest something to you that will change your life forever. Are you getting blessed? The Bible tells us that a man called Saul was persecuting Christians everywhere and having met with God with Jesus Christ on the road to Damascus he said he should go to the house of who? Judas and stay there who is that Judas? we don't know he just said go and stay in his house destiny help us he stayed there three days and then they sent a man called Ananias we heard about him once didn't hear about him again and Ananias came and said brother Saul Jesus whom you saw sent me that I should lay my hands upon you that you should be filled with the Holy Spirit and receive your sight when that happened he went away the Bible says a certain time came they met one prophet called Agabus he came out from wherever we don't know a man called Agabus all his daughters were prophets and he gave a prophecy hallelujah You read all through the Bible and see several people. Ruth and Naomi haven't lost her husband, haven't lost everything. The Bible says that Ruth told Naomi, say, my God will be your God. and my, Your God will be my God, your people, my people. The Bible says while this, a man just came out from wherever. Boas and he told the people we don't know who those people are he said as you glean leave some of the food their names were not mentioned just leave some food so that she can go and take care brothers and sisters if you miss the ministry of destiny helpers in your life listen to me you may never arrive your destiny no matter what kind of prophecy is given unto you there are many women who will not get married because the person who will connect them with their life partner is not there someone can just tell you come come with us hallelujah let's go for fellowship somewhere pastor um, Femi stand up 
just go and stand there. And God will orchestrate it in a way. Please sit down. Make yourself very comfortable. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now this lady sits down. She has been praying for a life partner. If you have not been praying about it, you better start praying. She has been praying. Oh God, a godly man. A man who loves and fears you. And what happens? We cannot even find a friend again who invited her. And she sat down. And while she sat down, Sam is worshipping. Now listen. Come Sam. Sam gets up. And Sam is lifting his hands. As we lift our hands in worship. As we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory. What happens? While Sam is moving left and right, doing the business of the father, suddenly, Sam finds out that he's been drawn to this role. Sam will move this way. And Sam will be drawn. And then a preacher like me will say, talk to your neighbor and says, your time to be blessed. And Sam turns and says, your time to be blessed. And the Holy Ghost will say, did you hear what you said? Hallelujah. A few years after they are happily married. And when you ask them what happened. They say someone. That's what they say. Someone. The someone may be in the congregation. But may not even know. That he or she was the person. Who made this happen. Are you listening to me? Destiny help us. Many people have missed out. Every time. You are entering a prophetic season of breakthrough in your life. Make sure you begin to handle with utmost respect the people that begin to come around you. Because some of them may not even be Christians. Somebody can just come drunk with beer. It may even be your loved one. And for the first time, you will say something sensible in years. You say, ah, you didn't go for fellowship this night. Then you hiss and go back. And God will say, your address. As you are coming in, that's when God will step into your life in a mighty way. Hallelujah. Men who do not know these principles die as failures in life and wonder, oh God, why are you not changing my story? Hallelujah. This is very important. I have seen this happen in my life. When God showed me that this would be the venue. How it was going to happen, I knew. Listen, the next time you are trusting God for a breakthrough in your life. Don't think he's just going to come by an angel flapping his wings and says, take. Men, men have been God's instrument of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Are you receiving something tonight? Am I challenging you? And then we met Prof. And Prof just came and spoke to the church once. Once. And they came till today. Since we started in March 2011, we have not had to pay one naira for this auditorium to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this same Zaria, destiny help us. It's not a big thing for it's not a big deal for many of you until the day you get into positions where you will require the help of men. Are you listening to me? Many of us have pushed our destiny helpers away, either because they do not carry forms. That's the problem we have with people who segregate people. We are not the rich ones, we are the ones who our fathers are senators. What is your father? Capital, leave this place. We are the ones who are intelligent. What's your CGP 1.5? Get out of here. Hallelujah. We are the ones who are smart. We attended Queen's College. Which church did you, which, which school did you attend? One school, they have even forgotten the name. Leave this place. We are the ones who went abroad. We spent six years abroad. Where have you gone out from? I've just been in my local government. I've not even gone out. Leave this place when you begin to treat people that way 
get set for a rude shock in life because your destiny helpers will never assume forms that will attract you to them you must have a discerning grace to look beyond them some of them may be visitors every time they come to your house you know they are coming to collect your father's money but maybe that day maybe that day that day it could be some gatekeepers in your house every time you look at them Adamu, Adamu, how I say, well done, man. how are you? You are insulting the man. One day you look and say, sorry. I saw one application. There's one newspaper here. You say, let me see. And you just find out that they need exactly what you want. And it will change your life and your story forever. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I was told the story of a lady who had been trusting God for breakthrough. Hallelujah. And the day they called her, for a job interview in all sincerity she did not have any money the mom did not have money there and it was her neighbor who was a gate man she begged him it took a lot of humility for her to beg him the guy said give me my money i said make sure you give me and i think he gave her was it 500 or 200 she transported herself got that job when she got the job they were going to lodge her in a five-star hotel for one month first where they would take her are you listening to me gave up 0.8 million to be able to get a nice house this is true life story hallelujah all that lady that lady bought a bike and came and gave the gate man the gate man was resting little did he know his breakthrough was coming she just gave him a bike he left the work immediately immediately many of you in life listen to me this is a powerful message many of you in life have neglected certain people you may stand and look at this brother and just say kite i beg jerry many of us relate with people only based on what we can get from them you need to stop that demonic attitude the day i don't need anything from you you are not my friend again the day necessity brings it suddenly ah uh -uh, pastor femi we need venue you are his friend if that is your attitude you will miss out on many prophetic you can see someone the person is wearing a shoe that is not very nice thank god for the ten thousand naira one your father bought for you the person may not have what you have but he has a he knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that can open the door that your family has every prayer point has a human being as the answer somewhere every prayer point every prayer point i tell you if you are praying for a job that job is available somewhere and it is at a platter of gold one note can change a man's destiny activating breakthroughs through the ministry of destiny helpers could this be why some of us are where we are today could it be that that's why some of our family members are where we are the gentleman that always comes to your father and your father says don't tell him that i'm around could it be that that very day he came with a news that will set the family forever and the person will live and go forever we are going to be praying hallelujah we are going to be crying for a restoration of destiny help us that we have allowed to slip through our hands we are going to be praying for sensitivity many of you treat everybody bad you treat people rude you are hostile you talk to people you say that's how i am because you feel you have your world met together a day will come you will find out that what you have you don't have access to a king and it is god that will connect you there hallelujah today by the grace of god many places where i go and minister i don't know those who told them about me they just said we heard about you who were the people who popped the bible said it was noised abroad that jesus was in town we do not know i only will pray for those people in my secret place that god will bless and honor them you may never know never know sometimes we just get seeds from people coming into the ministry account we don't even know the people could it be that one destiny helper shared his testimony one day are you listening to me see I am convinced that it does not cost God a fortune to cause a major prophetic breakthrough in your family. I was told about a man 
who had been saving to buy some cars, you know, he, just a, a, a little car. And then one day, when he was going to buy the car, God sent him to go and um, greet, you know, like their elder ones, like an uncle. So when he went to go and greet the uncle, he was sitting outside. These are true stories. He was sitting outside. And then a rich man came in to see the uncle. And then he told him, he said he should wash his car for him. And he started washing the car. Of course, he sounded insulting. But then that's a big man. He was washing the car. Then when he was washing the car, the uncle didn't see him for hours. They were just in. He washed the car, cleaned it, and sat down. He was even getting angry. When they came out, the uncle was hostile to him. He said, why have you come to see me? Don't you see that I have meetings? The, the rich man asked him, he said, what is it? He said, I just came to tell you that I gathered some small money. I want to buy a car. And then the rich man asked, just jokingly, he said, what car? He said, golf. The man laughed. He said, is that a car? He said, the next day, you should come and meet him in his office. I'm telling you, I lie not. He gave him a brand new Toyota the next day. See, let me tell you something. It's not everything that money can do. Learn this early enough. Because many people brag with the monies of their parents. My father is a senator. My mother is a this. There are many people who were healed in Koinonia here. We still do not know who brought them. Someone referred them on the road. Told them, do this, do that. And they came and they got healed. I made up my mind never to. That's why I treat people with love and honor and respect. You don't know who. It could be a little girl like this, my sister. She may just look at you and pray a prayer for you. And say, God just asked me to touch your head and just touch your head and say, bless you. Suddenly, you see every door opening and you are like, what in the world is going on? Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? Sometimes God can lead you to a meeting. You don't know the name of the ministry. You don't know the name of the man of God. You don't know the name of anybody. You don't know the ushers that brought you. All you know is that one word was declared. You carry that word, you went back. Most times, you never get to see your destiny helpers to tell them thank you. There are only few times you get to meet them. Four things that define prophetic moments of breakthrough. Number one, the spirit of prayer. Grace to pray like never before. Number two, a heart to give suddenly there is a dissociation between you and whatever it is that you have number three demonic confrontations that attempt to discourage you number four they begin to come destiny help us they come as phone calls they come as friends they come as enemies they come as unprofitable situations they come as hostile different things hallelujah i'll never forget someone who had an issue with his supervisor final year student some years ago he had a very serious issue with the supervisor and the supervisor would not even look at him and somehow somehow people began to mediate another lecturer was mediating and when he finally got to call the guy in, they began to talk. After insulting him and shouting and doing every kind of thing, he said, where are you from? And that was where a conversation started. And they wouldn't end that conversation until after three hours. That guy found out that there were certain opportunities he desired, that that student had ways. He knew his father could help out and so on and so forth. It was actually a property the man, the lecturer wanted to sell. And then he got to find out that the boy's father was a real estate agent. They exchanged numbers there. And that man's life changed. Who have you been neglecting? God is asking you a question. Don't look at your neighbor. Who have you been neglecting? Because they may not speak English like you. Because they may not, they are not charismatic as you. Who have you been neglecting? Because they don't belong to your church or they don't come for koinonia or because they are not Pentecostals. Huh? Because they are not filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, there's this rubbish association of 
religious things that go on we are the ones who pray we are the ones who fast we are the ones who we are the ones who know god god will always use the most unlikely means never forget this message could it be that your destiny helper is here in koinonia sitting close to you hallelujah When my younger brother was very small, he drank paint one day, took a cup of paint and drank it. And he fell down there and fainted. Created commotion and everybody was just running helter-skelter. They took him to the hospital. But that was an opportunity because people came to greet. Hallelujah. And there were certain people my father wanted to see who would not respond to him. They came to greet my brother. And finally, some opportunities was trusting God for came by. I'm teaching you wisdom tonight. Many of you will need to call your parents and tell them, you stop insulting everybody that comes. It doesn't matter what they have done. God can still use them to be the ladder for you to step into destiny. There are some of you here. There are people that you can never look eyeball to eyeball with. You swear and say till Jesus comes. Because of what you did to my mother. Because of what you did to my father. They gave us 130,000 to share. My, my, young, my elder brother gave me 2K. And when may God punish you for as long as I live. Calm down. Do you know that one day a door can be opened? I pray every time and I tell God. There are destiny partners that are attached. Destiny helpers attached to this ministry. There are destiny helpers attached to my life. There are destiny helpers attached to your life. Once again, let me use this last example and we'll pray. Two people, one stand here, one stand here. Anybody? You, my brother? Just stand there. Never forget this. The distance between you and your breakthrough is not as far as you see. I don't care what it is. Hear me. The distance between you. It could be a carryover cause you are praying. And saying oh God but they can wave this thing. And you have done everything you know to do. One day God can just send someone and they will be discussing about you in the office. And they will say please help this person. He has tried. The distance between you. Is a destiny helper. And I'm telling you, it can be seconds away. It can be minutes away. Only learn to recognize destiny helpers. They will come in forms that you will not appreciate them. After the grace here, there are people who come and just look. There are some people who just send me text messages. With one scripture. Jokingly, they did not even know. I don't know them, I don't have their numbers. But that one scripture just gives an insight to something God has been attempting to communicate to me. Destiny help us. We are going to cry unto God. Are you ready to pray? God bless you. Rise up on your feet. Say the distance between me. Say it as loud as you can. The distance between me and my breakthrough is a helper away. Say the distance between my family and their breakthrough is a helper away. Prayer point number one, you are going to cry unto God and say, Lord, I, I repent of people I have neglected. I, I want you to really pray and say people I have kicked out of my life. Destiny helpers that would have taken me to a glorious level in my life by now. Lift your voice and pray. Kapo shatala kaparadara. Kampra tekatala kotosia. People who would have given me relevant information. Those who would have connected me with helpers. Lift your voice and pray. Some of our family members are struggling aimlessly because there are people who can help. Kapra skatala kaposo tabaya. Bambra takatele kosuta. Bakarie ketai, wine pressers, bakers, men who can take you to the king. It's not as hard as it seems. I am convinced it's a destiny helper away. 
no matter what you need financial breakthrough a miracle a prophetic word direction in your life say lord i repent for neglecting destiny help us i've let them come and pass i refuse to activate defining moments in my life pray on behalf of your family say lord for my father for my mother for my brothers they would have gotten jobs by now they would have built houses by now they would have gotten contracts by now doors would have opened that terminal disease would have left by now my family would have been together by now but for the neglect of destiny help us hallelujah prayer point number two and i want you to pray this with all your heart he said i will restore to you you're going to pray and say lord let that cycle come back again in my life let that cycle i missed as a result of carelessness or pride or arrogance or insensitivity lift your voice say lord let the helpers come again lord let financial helpers come lord let marital helpers come lift your voice and pray lord let academic helpers come the distance between you and your breakthrough is your wine presser is your wine baker it's not hard is there anything too hard for god to do i'm telling you in one day god can change your story in one day god can change the story of your family members restore pray restore for my family restore oh god opportunities that have been lost opportunities send them again oh god help us of destiny send them again reactivate breakthrough reactivate breakthrough hallelujah let me tell you a little story i have a friend listen to me i have a friend in abuja this guy went to abuja a poor broke person with nothing but his faith hallelujah and this guy had been praying and said lord change my story help me this guy was crying praying people told him and you said stupid boy you got up and came to abuja no house no car no nothing this guy was praying and one day it always happens one day you don't even know that's why you must be prepared he was just sitting down and a friend called him he said where are you he said come quick this guy just ran and he entered a room and he saw a big man and some people were talking and he said i wanted to involve you because god asked me to bless you ah. and he sat down and the rich man was going to buy a plot of buy some plots of land 720 million 720 million and 10 percent goes to the agents so they brought him this guy became a millionaire overnight he didn't do anything they just brought him and counted the number of people the 10 percent agency fee was what changed his life yet there are many tongue-talking estate agents who have been in Abuja since 1990 since 1999 praying and running with complimentary cards this guy was wearing palms he wasn't wearing a suit palms and his life changed overnight brothers and sisters if you ever forget anything this night remember that your prayer request is in the hands of a man it takes God who is the father of spirits to connect the lines and that's going to be our next prayer point you're going to say Lord by the instrument of the prophetic I call forth they that have been destined to take me to the
the next level to take my family make sure you are praying Lord prophetically pray those who will open doors of jobs doors of marriages doors of ministry doors of anointings doors of favor doors of lifting doors of success doors of increase doors of breakthrough make sure you are praying pray it with all your heart your family story can change you have been praying and fasting could this be the message could this be the message pray say lord whether in lagos or abuja or kano or samfara the united states the caribbean by the prophetic power of the spirit let there be a connection orchestrate a meeting let there be a meeting pray pray god wants to take you from this level to another it's a year of supernatural exploits exploits by the spirit your story can change activate defining moments activate breakthrough in your life come on prophesy i call them they are coming into my life from the north the east the south i pray for e and i destiny help us are coming we receive them we receive them we receive them we receive them hallelujah let me give you one little story look at me when professor madi was the vice chancellor of amadu Bello university many of you did not meet him there was a gentleman who did very well but he did not get admission hallelujah and the guy just went for reasons he could not explain he went and sat down near the senate in the night and professor madi had the culture of walking into students hostels walking around just to see what is going on and when he walked he saw the gentleman and he called him he said why are you sitting down here he said sir look at my work result look at everything but my catchment area is not there and they didn't give me admission he said you are such a brilliant boy do you know what he told him he said go home and pack your load and come back when he came back they had printed his, admi his admission letter this is true it's a confirmed story hallelujah I know about a student who had been victimized for years till he was in 300 level whatever it is that happened either his name or his matriculation number clashed and what this guy was seeing was not his real cgpa this guy would work so hard but when the exams come out he would not be it and then one day someone just came in and for whatever reason the person decided to start cross-checking things the next thing they put on the notice board that they wanted to see him when they called him they said he should go and bring his results and his courses that he registered do you know true life story when they, this guy was uh, maybe around 1.7 something by the time they corrected everything he was supposed to be in 2-1 in all sincerity my cousin my cousin was a student in this school my cousin was a student in this school he wrote a major exam that he got A and when the result came out they gave him F this guy they didn't know he knew that he had, he had read but you see sometimes even when you have the evidence you don't have access to the king there are many of us that have evidences that would wipe our night time but that access to the king hallelujah and one day God raised a visiting prof who just came and he just complained and showed him everything. The man took on the case by himself until they rectified it. Look at me for a moment. What do you expect God to do in your life and in your family? It's in the hands of someone. It's in the hands of someone. That breakthrough is in the hands of someone. A house to complete 
for your loved ones to go to school. Let me tell you, no matter what it is, expand your mind tonight. There are men who are carriers of miracles. They don't even know. There are some of you that your loved ones need some jobs. They have been suffering. You know that they want to change where they are working or they don't even have a job. They are prayed. They are applying CV after CV. If it is destiny helpers, they will accelerate your path. You will jump protocols. We are going to pray. Say, Lord, I receive discernment to see these people when they come into my life. Lift up your voice and pray. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. Say, Lord, let me discern. They may not be my tribe. They may not be my friends. They may be the enemies of our family. But Lord, grace to discern. When you are about to use them to change our story. Hallelujah. Final prayer point. Now you're going to pray. And speak over your life. And tell yourself you are breaking through. And breaking forth on the left and right. Don't keep quiet. Please. Don't keep quiet. Prophesy. I break through. From the left. The right. The east. The west. Oh hallelujah. I activate breakthroughs. I establish it in the name of Jesus by the spirit of prayer. I contend against every power of darkness. Come on, pray. Pray against every satanic force. Pray against every power of darkness that wants to attempt to abort your breakthrough God wants you to smile God wants you to smile God wants you to smile He wants to encourage you He wants your life to be fruitful Satan get lost Be lifted all ye gates Let the family of Koinonia receive breakthroughs I prophesy breakthroughs Breakthroughs, breakthrough, financial breakthrough, marital breakthrough, family breakthrough, academic breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough, breakthrough in your job. Let your family members smile. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. I provoke it from the heavens. I activate the angelic. I activate the angelic. Let angels begin to move to every family. Let angels begin to move over your academic. Angels move over your finances. Angels move over your family. Angels move. I activate the operation of angels. Content with the powers in the heavens and release breakthroughs for God's people let the angelic contend with the powers that delay that stop people from entering their prophetic breakthrough I release breakthroughs I release breakthroughs I release breakthrough I speak it in your life I send an anointing into your life a breaker anointing a breakthrough anointing I send it into your life I send it into your academics I send it into your family I send it into your finances those you do not know I cause them to arise and help you I cause them to arise and help you hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands everybody Everywhere your gift is needed, I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus, 
everywhere your gift is needed whoever needs your gift in nigeria i stand as a servant of god i command a connection in the realm of the spirit beginning from tonight 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for every one of your family members looking for a job my god and my king tonight let testimonies rise from this message no matter how long tonight let someone talk to somebody talk to somebody and talk to somebody and connect them for breakthrough in the name of jesus for your family members i command help us those who will connect them to projects and contracts and opportunities yes they don't merit it but by the power of destiny help us i connect them to the breakthrough for the next level in the name of jesus where you have cried academically i connect you to help us professors who will help you admin staffs who will help you admin staff who will help you members in the senate who will help you whether for accommodation whether for your result whether for missing script whether for your wayek whatever it is in the name of jesus as the senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of jesus anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything let a strange man come we don't want to know the name let a strange call come let a strange connection come i prophesy it i release it to you in the name of jesus i release testimonies 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 from this breakthrough experience beginning from tonight i command calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us connections with destiny help us they will travel and come and meet you you will meet them on the street they will come to your homes in the name of jesus you will see them in your dreams god will connect you for every one of your family members that is supposed to be married and they are not married the husbands or the wives they are not in space they are here on earth lord we pray tonight as a family by the power that is in the name of the resurrected christ i pray let help us lead partners to their mates in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus we command supernatural marital connections in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we bind every devil we bind every power that attempts to cause delay we set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage be released in the name of jesus his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i'm prophesying to you you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed your glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over and for medical reports that need to be changed tonight it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over i don't care what the doctors have said i bring you a higher word you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul that garment of reproach over your life it will be changed 
His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. And his mother called him Jabez. She said, because I bore him in sorrow. Jabez did not name himself. He was a victim of his mother's prophecy. His mother's pain made her to call him Jabez. Jabez. A name that brought sorrow. And Jabez grew up. Everywhere he went, he saw sorrow. What did this man do? Who sinned? Was it him or his parents? Jabez's mother cursed him. He said, you cost me sorrow. As a result, you will live in sorrow. But the day came, Jabez said, no, come on, God. There must be a way of negotiating this. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Remedy this curse over my life. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. I can't live like this. Lord, you are a just God. You must give me an option to demonstrate whether I want to practice witchcraft or not. I cannot be suffering because my father was a king. I can't be suffering because we worship idols. I was not there. Come on now. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their parents. I was not there when they went to the river to make sure my mother gets a child. Lord, we must negotiate this night. There is a way. I'm going to hold on to you. There must be a justice system that will get me out of this mess tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul listen hear me friends if you can hold on to the hand of God tonight you will leave this place with something but if you come here casually you will keep clapping for people who came here desperately. There are people who have been fasting for this meeting for days. And they said, Lord, I'm holding on to you. Jabez's mother called him Jabez. And Jabez said, oh God, thou, would you not bless me? Enlarge my coast. And the Bible said, God answered him. Hallelujah. The thief on the cross after realizing that what was happening to him was a due recompense for his wickedness he said remember me in your kingdom oh lord i do not come trying to justify myself lord i know i slept around that's why i have the terminal disease right now i'm not trying to claim right but i understand that there is a principle in the spirit that grants us access to come before the throne of grace lord i know i used to drink and smoke that's why i have liver condition i know that what is happening to me was not any wickedness of ancestry it's as a result of my carelessness i know i've not been tithing i know i've not been i've not been giving i've been sleeping with other people's husbands or carrying other people's wives and children around and i know that i gave satan legal access but tonight, oh God, I'm negotiating with you. I come. What do you think going to the throne of grace is? It's not just to go and stand there. You go and talk and say, Lord, it is written. It is written. Although it is true that the soul that sins die. It is written. Also, that is not your desire that any wicked perish. It is written. You take the word of God, the legal system of heaven. It said, produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons convince me what is the legal basis for your freedom from this witchcraft convince me i saw a pattern that happened from my maternal side in my family it looked like every firstborn male there were certain things that happened to them when i saw it i said no way somebody shout no way this night come on now you need to get angry and say no way i have seen it coming so you will stop it say nobody passes 25 years my own father my blood father his elder brother is late younger brother is late i found out that when they got to a certain age range no matter how high they were they must drop down and die my father has served god all his life but it did not change 
and then my father was sick almost at the point of death thank god for revelation Haya. arise shine my light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me we will arise arise shine our light is come The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Hallelujah. And I got angry. I said, Lord, if there is nobody to speak in my family, I can't speak. What is happening? My younger sister collapsed while she was writing examination. My elder sister for years would not get admission. Things were just upside down in my family someone needs to prophesy tonight say order hold on you know how they shout order in court when there's confusion somebody must speak and say order come on now i prophesy let there be order listen if there is nobody to speak in your family the altars that speak will keep speaking until somebody comes with an apostolic spirit and says i provoke another voice i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i come with the rod of a higher priesthood hallelujah please sit down for a moment we are soon going to stand up i sense the anointing of the spirit strong let me teach you something about priesthood please look up the bible began to tell us in the book of hebrews hallelujah when it comes to working in the justice system of god you don't do it as a king you go back as a priest are you getting the revelation that was why when the bible was about to explain to us the legal system of the blood and redemption kings were not mentioned again he started mentioning priests you now see why it is the priest in the village not the king that does all the connection with the gods so the bible says that there are different kinds of priesthood and every priest in ancient time had a rod are you getting my point that rod was not a symbol of authority it was a token that connected them with the gods are you getting what i'm saying so there were different kinds of levitical priesthoods and the rest who offered sacrifices and they tried to know the mind of god but the bible tells us that this very priest this high priest they said he came after the order of a strange man called melchizedek you know who melchizedek was melchizedek was a was the king of salem the ancient city jerusalem the bible says having neither father or mother question neither father or mother that means could not be affected by any ancestry are you getting my point melchizedek a man who came that was the similitude of the christ that was why it was melchizedek standing in that priesthood that blessed abraham he said abraham you don't know who is blessing you but you come blessed be abraham possessor of he says son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth what gave how can a man bless a fellow man like that the bible says based on the principle of adumbration that means the four acting of something that will actually act melchizedek was a prophetic manifestation of the christ just like elijah are you getting my point now elijah came manifesting as the spirit of the prophetic moses came as the law so melchizedek showed up and he said abraham you come from a land of witchcraft called all of the chaldeans they were wizards in that place are you getting my point abraham was not born a christian abraham was born an idol worshiper and when he met this priest called Mel melchizedek he said let me do something to you abraham come i'm about to change certain things look at me you are not going to get anything from my ancestry without father or mother yet i'm a king and still i am a priest he said melchizedek from today possess the heavens i mean abraham 
possess the heavens and the earth we talk so much about abraham but the man that spoke and changed his situation melchizedek right now we have come as those sons and daughters of abraham are you getting my point and the bible tells us that the priest that will speak to us that priest comes in the order of melchizedek so when the herbalists lift up their rod like the egyptians suddenly a priest steps in with the rod of a higher priesthood and he says all right you can say what you want to say but we change it because there is respect in the spirit the military system is an organized system because it was borrowed from the way angels walk in the spirit never at any point with a man with an inferior rank talk or walk against the man it's not about size it's not about age it's about ranking so when this priest comes after the order of melchizedek he lifts up that rod and he opens up the door for you he says walk out of all this and that high priest christ himself who became both the lamb and became the high priest is here for you tonight listen listen it doesn't matter which of these three categories there are many people who will be saying lord i know i just came here to find out whether there can be mercy for me i want you to know there is abundance of it that voice that speaks against you there is another blood that speaks and for many of us who are coming it's not your fault but you were born from that state tonight a rod of a higher priesthood will be lifted for you i have waited for this moment to come Go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. I will go back. I will go back. Then go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. So tonight. I want you to believe jesus told us something he said as my father has sent me Hi with the same assignment and the same equipping let's look at that scripture oh hallelujah 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 come on just pray in tongues for one minute something just entered my spirit as my father has sent me with the same equipping with the same equipping john 20 john 20 John 20 ah goodness John 20 are you there then said Jesus to them listen peace be to you as my father has sent me he said even so send I you so he showed us the very next verse how the father sent him that means he equipped me the father did something to me and i'm about to do the same thing to you and it will make you do the works that he did watch this 22 and when he had said this he breathed on them he said this is the secret receive ye the holy ghost receive ye the holy ghost i transfer the ministry of the holy spirit from me to you let him walk with you and you will do wonders you will suddenly become a priest you will suddenly become a king 
the same way i set men free he will empower you and you will set men free the same way i spoke and it came to pass now the same way the holy ghost walked with me this was my secret receive ye receive that means you can reject him he said receive don't reject him receive when he comes to you receive his presence makes you become like jesus it's not about praying in tongues it's more than praying in tongues you receive him you can reject him jesus said when he comes receive receive don't reject many people have been rejecting him you are praying in tongues but you've been rejecting him tonight receive him receive him receive his ministry jesus said when he comes receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost the same way you receive a visitor question how do you receive a visitor in your house when a visitor comes you put a chair you say you are welcome let me bring food for you what do you want that's how to receive you don't stand at the door and say mr man what did you come to look for that's how many of us are receiving the holy ghost you are praying in tongues but you truly have not received his ministry tonight will you receive that ministry will you receive the same way you receive a visitor the bible says be careful entertain men well for in need some of you have entertained strangers that's why you see us honor his presence so much because jesus left him without the holy spirit while i was praying i said holy spirit we're in partnership with you i will do the talking i will do all the things my own part of the deal i will do it well and i know for sure that's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed that's what gives us confidence there is an audacity there is always a side to your life you cannot explain that's the side where the holy ghost steps in if you can explain everything about your life you are walking alone there should be a supernatural dimension i've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained the other part now the holy ghost does not just talk he explains it with the results oh that's why i love him doesn't have room for long stories tonight god is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say lord i'm tired the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but well, what is wrong with my life i've not done anything wrong what you need is an appointment by prophecy the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness it says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified we're going to pray the lord assured me of his presence in a mighty way to heal especially for the sick you must get angry this night and say lord i'm not going back with that situation see don't get too used to it the same way you receive the holy spirit reject certain things hallelujah let me show you one scripture back to our text john 9 let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive john chapter 9 while i was reading today i had to stop and say goodness so this thing did not start now two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive number one 9 verse 16 listen to what happened we have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive john 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the pharisees okay this man is this is jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed 
and now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that god is doing and probably you just came to watch and see let me verify for myself look at it it didn't just start today satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that god has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and he said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called Sadiq Ibrahim? I never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came. He came to give, some of you were around that miracle service. This guy was a terrorist. He was a terrorist. He was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence. And he came, was dying of HIV, right? Dying of tuberculosis. He had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church and look at a man of god and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of god would just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as i came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or god's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change.
they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children i just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. I lead the earth to worship you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, change our situation tonight. There are many of us, as you're sitting looking at me right now, the problem that you have is only God that can help you because the load is too much. Are you getting me? There are some of you, it's like I see you in the hospital. Your situation right now is a matter of life and death. Your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease i remember a particular lady i was talking to i think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she will die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here <laughs> there is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what god is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. 
rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of for him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship him Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible? With God. Involve God. And it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with God that's why we're singing that song Emmanuel Emmanuel Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called 
Your name is called Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people very mightily by the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving. At the count of three, there will be such a move of the Spirit in this row. Let me have the people outside. Thank you, Jesus. One, two, three. Let the power of God move right now. Right now. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called. Bring her. No devil will stop her. Your name is called. Emmanuel, his name is 
God, Emmanuel, your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. His name is God, Emmanuel, He is called, Emmanuel, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the presence of God, no demon, no devil, no altar. I don't care what altar of darkness. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. hallelujah please lift your hands i see the angels of the lord moving now lift your hands we're about to cause devils and wicked spirits please follow me instrumentalist we are going to cause every power the bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father that tree must give way and I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve that at the count of three any power that is not of God inside and outside at the count of three we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost as you shout three the power of God will rush inside and outside and there will be massive deliverances right now are you ready now? one Two, three, shout Jesus. Shake up a pack of pressure. I cause powers. Every wicked power, every demon, every activity of darkness. I cause you now. 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 Every act of witchcraft. Shake it. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, you come under the judgment of God inside and outside. Right now, let the power of God bring deliverance. For upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness i see a number of angels you're going to shout jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you jesus are you ready now those outside i see the power of god like files of fire one two at the count of three Shout Jesus three. We dethrone altars, we dethrone yokes of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now. Out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just find it's time for her deliverance. Her, she will come now quickly I call you Lord most high. don't touch her she will come by herself Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Thank you Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus name. She's free. name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister in the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free.
her time of deliverance is now i speak to you wicked spirit let her go now jesus died listen let me tell you there is no power listen there is no power that will resist the power of god tonight the bible says let every soul be subject to the higher powers have you read that in your bible let every soul be subject when it sees powers that are higher than it it should be subject let every soul hallelujah esther 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 there is an esther that is not feeling fine you're sick not just i know there are many esters the lord is ministering to me i don't know what is wrong with that esther but you need a miracle a healing miracle esther please let's save time there is a lot we have to do tonight esther who is deborah 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 you are outside that deborah is wearing red you are wearing red red with black spots it's a shirt red with black spots deborah come your name is deborah i'm hearing the name queen queen is i think that's supposed to be a name queen who is queen 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 you are esther come come on while you hold them look guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 i'm hearing the name gabriel gabriel who is gabriel gabriel please just save time when i mention your case gabriel gabriel is outside outside the lord is ministering to me outside gabriel you are is it outside yes Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel. You are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you. Because... The Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, okay. come, 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 come. You must be set free. Now hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now! Out! Now! Blessed is he who comes i set you free from this captivity be free now praise the lord i'm going to pray for you who is having serious abdominal pain you're having pain just 
your stomach region here very seriously one of you here because i'm feeling that same pain so i know you we pray for you but but that's that's not really the major thing wrong with you what's wrong with you you'll be healed now thank you jesus i bring you the power that is in the name of jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of jesus christ father i pray for all of these people as i lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of jesus christ i set you free in the name of jesus christ walk into the blessings and the promises of god in the name of the lord jesus christ be set free right now by the power of the holy spirit be set free in the name of the lord jesus um the lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's there's, there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of jesus i cause that spirit be free now in the name of jesus let him go i set you free be free now by the power of the holy spirit i cause skin infection in the name that is above all names hold my hands look at me look at me i'm seeing you tied not only are you I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out! Come out of her! Now! In the name of Jesus. Out! Out of her! Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out! Out! Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out! Come out! I will pray for you and I will talk to you. God. 
name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free be free now in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of Jesus Christ he's able bring the lady shout in there Hey, hey, hey. Say he's able. Let her go in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God. he's able. God is able. God. And that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in Jesus name complete freedom showing me someone you came here I'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the Lord is showing me is a woman I think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person I'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so I can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you people coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? This one is a woman who is not you, but anyway, what's this situation? But it's a, no, no, no. What, what, just straight to the point, what happened? My body is very hot and the, the head is turning me like move, I want to fall. This is the spirit of death now. You would have died before today. Hold my hands. I want to pray with you. You'll be free now. Thank you, Jesus. I set you free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What couldn't you do before? Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I've prayed for you. Just, just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabia, I've prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. 
Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at this is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg, I don't know if it's a, if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually played football. Right You're a footballer? Yes. I had a fracture for eight months. You have a fracture. Now, on the leg, there is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Aya. The Holy Spirit. Young Gicho wrote a book. He said, The Holy Spirit, my senior partner. Watch what happens to this guy now. My brother, look at me. You are an adult, so you will not tell lies. Right? Watch. I don't want you to miss your miracle. Where is the fracture? Exactly. All right. Watch what happens to you now. Lay your own hands there. The hands you'll be using every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You sense what is happening to you right now. Are you seeing this? Look at what is happening to him. You see the power of God? You see the power of God on him? He's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again. That's the end of it. Stand up. Stand up. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. Test yourself. Look at this. Look at See the guy is even rejoicing. <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture, fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for an See? There's no, there's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you do. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. Your leg. Come, 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 come. Don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. pain there. Let me see. Just, just the. No, no, no. You don't need to lift your. Just that point. The joint there. How long? Two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that, you woke up, and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself, or I should just pray? <laughs> huh? All right, but seriously, let's pray. Hold my hands. Heal her, Lord. Set her free right now. The power of God is coming upon you, that leg. In the name of Jesus Christ. No pain. See, that's the power of God coming upon your leg. Check yourself. Check. Honestly. Check yourself. Look at The power of God is moving strongly. Check. Check. Do you feel any pain? You feel any She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. That devil has gone never to return again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodness. The Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now. Someone you have a hole. You used to have a hole in your teeth. Check it now. You will not see that hole there. Please check it and come out. This is a miracle that has just happened now. Please, I'm going to start praying in mass for people. But you will be very surprised. When, when that happens to you, just come out quickly. The Lord, once God shows me something, he has done it. Please check yourself. Check yourself. We are not faking this thing here. Make sure you check yourself. You will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole. And that hole is closed. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Your mother, your mother, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be healing. For your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ please make sure you only come out for the cases i call why is he out 
Eh? Okay, let me pray for you. Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? Sorry, can you open your mouth for me to see? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope that's not. Let me see. You used to have a hole. Please come whether come and check. No. Let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now. Come. Come and check. Check if there is any hole. Are you are you seeing that? There's no. It was really paining me when I it was paining you when you came here. The hole has been there. Who knows about it? Only your sister knows about it. And, it's, and you've been healed. Any pain now? Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please stand up, everybody. I want to pray for eye conditions now. Let's just flow the way God is. is, is nice. Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes immediately i pray for you some of you the power of god will touch your eyes just check yourself and when you find out that there is a miracle i want to take a few testimonies there please lift your lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes jesus will give you the praise hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of Jesus, glaucoma, I curse you now in the name of Jesus. Short-sightedness, long-sightedness, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command to be healed. And every spirit of blindness, every spirit of infirmity, every kind of blindness, whether in one eye, whether in both eyes, I rebuke you right now. I command be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourself. Please check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing great miracles. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Hallelujah. While they are doing that, the Lord is showing me people with heart conditions. Heart conditions. You have a heart condition, whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition. Please, can I have those people? Heart condition. You've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition. You have a heart problem. Who? And he's preparing to go to India for three. He's preparing to go to India for surgery. What of you? Yes, sir. What of you? You. You have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation palpitation oh. doctor doctor where's that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Augusta, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay loud and you can hear it even when she is so it's, a, you use stethoscope, you can hear it. so it's a serious situation she'll be healed now you're a doctor now wait you'll go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of god is flowing through you just breathe in and out thank you jesus christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost be set free please check yourself lord have mercy on the father in the name of jesus how do you know now try it breathe in and out let's see thank you jesus christ let there be perfection in the name of jesus let there be perfection the devil wants to bring stroke as i just held you huh is that true you're already feeling half of you some okay your dad too of stroke because immediately I had I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke. 
in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed right now we are going to rebuke delay in marriage now rise up on your feet the devil is a liar please rise up on your feet Some of you are smiling that means it doesn't concern you because those who it really concerns is a serious issue praise god hallelujah now i'm going to pray for you please follow me guys hallelujah. most marital delays are demonic in nature and we're going to arrest it right now you can stand in for yourself you can stand in for your loved ones please lift your hands everybody You'll be amazed at what will happen right now. Everyone, please lift your hands. You can stand for yourself. You can connect. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, I pray that as they shout that name, every, every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three i cast those spirits in the name of jesus let god's people go in the name of jesus out of them now by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I arrest it I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost we're still going to shout that name over this case the Lord is not done yet lift your hands again I want you to shout it at the top of your voice and as you shout that name the fire of the holy ghost will hit you like a tornado god is visiting situations right now thank you jesus one shake it two get ready now get ready with your hands lifted three be released now be released now be released now I command chains, chains, marital chains, be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Let marital doors open in the name of jesus i prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names the bible says seek out of the book and read it said none of this shall fail none shall want her mate ladies wherever your husband is in the name that is above all names i call him into your life i call him into your life listen not a man your husband not a man your husband may he come into your life in the name of jesus 
and I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names that sister that God has destined for you we release her into your life now 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 hallelujah now I'm going to pray for all sick people especially those who have come from everywhere while you come out do you have your prayer request please if you don't have it it's time to begin to write it now for all those who are sick you are sick in your body you came specifically for healing it's your time now please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly stand here believing that God will set you free he that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues. And then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Pray me. My Ow. God is he awesome. Awesome. He can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. He is awesome. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. He is awesome. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. He is awesome. He is awesome. He now. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Be healed, mommy. In the name of Jesus. Protector, 
my God is thank you, Lord awesome. Jesus Christ. He can move mountains. Be healed now. He Please, while you're seated, just pray in tongues. Hide me from Jesus Christ. Be healed. My God. Jesus Christ, awesome be healed. Awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ, be awesome. healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Awesome. Perfection. My God now. is awesome. In the name of Jesus, He's awesome. perfection in your body right now. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Right. 
God for a job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west in the name that is above all names. I pray May the Lord give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hands, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray. Let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray, may my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus. And every power that is stopping your job, in the name that is above all names, Shake it, the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, against Israel. I command right now, let those doors of jobs be opened supernaturally. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please, everybody stand. Submit your prayer request. Do we have it? This is a very prophetic moment. We have a few minutes, but this is where everybody gets to receive. Please. I want you to be very, very sensitive. If you've not submitted your prayer request, please just do that quickly. This, this, just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very, very prophetic what we're about to do. Any more people, please, quickly. We have a God that answers prayers here. Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it and once we are done here. But this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. 
Hallelujah. These requests represent impossible situations for some. Hallelujah. Situations that only the power of God can change. There are some situations here, if we have to read it, even we the men of God will be discouraged because of the kind of request. That's why we don't bother reading it. We just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth. I want you to know that within these few minutes, I want you to pray from the depths of your heart. And those following us online, now is the time for them to connect. Hallelujah. Because as we pray over these requests, the power of God will turn these requests into testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We're going to pray. Pastor Alpha, come. Femi, come. Benga, come. Just pray, lay hands on this and prophesy. Stretch your hands, everybody, towards this request and begin to pray. Begin to pray and prophesy. Hallelujah. Everybody, stretch your hands. And begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony lord in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit Change this situation. Change this situation. In the name of Jesus. We turn this to testimony. In the name of Jesus. Lord, under this corporate anointing, we release answers to this request. We release answers to this request. Let them receive emergency attention of heaven now. In the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of jesus thank you because with god nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in jesus name we pray hallelujah please everybody stand those who are visiting with us all those who are who came from outside zaria please come out i'll minister to you now i want you to come out expecting the lord there are so many people who have come from different places please just come out i'll pray for them and i'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom Thank you so much for those who came. Lizzie and her friends. Thank you so much all the way from Abuja. Thank you, Pastor Alpha. All the way from Kogi State. Eddie from Joss. Lonji from Abuja. I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you and secondly that you will carry an anointing I tell you something will come heavy upon your life you will carry an anointing you will carry an anointing you will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ just clash the symbols please play strings 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 in the name of Jesus anoint them 
in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Walk in greater levels of power. Greater levels you of power. Mighty in the name of Jesus. You do glorious things. Your faith. Take an anointing in the awesome name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. Do I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious Take this anointing with you in the name of Jesus to your locality. Do mighty things for the king. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus. I open every closed door. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let the anointing come. Greater apostolic signs. Greater apostolic wonders. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. 
Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. Shake it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray. I command the prophetic. Let it be activated now. Prophetic fountains. Be open now. Visions. Dreams. I command. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. An unction. You don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out. We activate it. Take it now. Supernatural experiences. Dreams. Visions. Sopotopate. I command leadership mantles. Leadership mantles. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Strong leadership mantles. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Stop la cambre de gelaba. I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible. In the name of the Lord Jesus, at the count of three, different gifts will be activated in people right now. One, two. Three, receive it. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, prophecy, tongues, interpretation of tongues. Take it now. I activate the full power of the spirit. I activate it inside and outside. Take it. Let the Holy Ghost come upon you in power. Receive it. Receive it. Gifts of healing, word of knowledge, gifts of prophecy. It will come like fire. It will come like fire. It will burn you. It will come like fire. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Two of you hold your hand. Hold your hand. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. I activate the gifts of the spirit every apostolic ministry in this place take the fire take the fire take the fire every apostolic ministry take the fire every prophetic ministry take the fire take the fire take the fire hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god 
my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom now i want to prophesy very quickly please i want you to shout amen every closed door over your life in the name that is above all names be open now be open now be open now every closed door be open now 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 I pray right now every opportunity you have lost I don't care what it is I prophesy right now receive restoration receive restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning in zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel 
hear ye the word of the Lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage I come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the Lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now I prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here I pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of Jesus I release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing I command ministry grow church grow in the name of Jesus hallelujah Lord we give you the praise I'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made Jesus Lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a Christian but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ I'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you're making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the Lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them I believe there are people God bless you God bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage God bless you God bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and God gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday. Thank you, Jesus, for these ones. Keep coming, keep coming. God bless you, no matter how far. Keep coming. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed of anybody. It's a personal affair tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem I want you to say after me Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe you died for me I believe you shed your blood to set me free I receive that freedom tonight and I receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of Jesus from today I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God Holy Spirit come and live in me I make up my mind to live for Jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the Lord Jesus may your Christian experience be authentic in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate Jesus hallelujah Please, all those worshiping with us for the first time, if this is your first time attending any of our meetings, 
we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do lord jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put together a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace it will always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them professor you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus thank you again for coming we love you and we celebrate you now we just like you to follow the ushers that gentleman waving his hands and they welcome you more warmly on our behalf Koinonia, celebrate them very quickly. hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you